understand. This is difficult. It is a delicate situation. This must be discussed now. It cannot wait any longer. I hate to say it, but the Countess has become more and more dangerous. Well, not dangerous. She's concerned for the welfare of the family. And we're concerned with the welfare of mankind. You've been more than reasonable. Have I? Of course you have. She already controls the income from your property. Please listen to him, Papa. He has our best interests at heart. We are speaking only of the rights to your words, your ideas, with all love and respect. The Countess is too interested in making a profit from your work. She's my wife. She's part of me. We've been together all these years. But you're more than a husband and father. She must understand that. The best interests of the people are one with your own. You belong to them. She won't. She'll never understand. She's unstable. I wonder if she isn't ill. It's sadly more than probable. I know it's hard for you, Papa, but you must be realistic. Her behavior is extremely alarming. Do you truly think that she is fit to control the final disposition of this will? Well, I don't. I don't. How dare! Oh, stop! against me in my own house, too. I bear you 30 children. How can you betray me like this? <laughs> Somebody help me up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why don't you give everything we've got to him? Your fat little catamite. Who oh, will it be, my dearest darling, my Vladimir Grigorovich? My wife's heart on a platter, her, her kidneys with salt. But of course, my dear Chodkov, whatever pleases you. The China, the estate's permanent copyright on anything I've ever written. Oh, anything for you, my love. 